Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I appreciate you all. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam's High Hand Me Crochet. So let's get started. We're going to work on a layered shell stitch today and I have my yarn doubled up. I'm going to be using this pink yarn and this green yarn so we can see the different layers. <coughs> Let's go ahead and start with our slip knot. And we're going to chain 27. It is a multiple of 8 plus 3. So you chain as many as you want, but I'm going to make 27 chains. So make your 27 chains, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and I have my 27 chains. Now we're going to skip three chains and make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three. And in your fourth chain from the hook, you will make a double crochet. And now we're simply going to just make uh, double crochets going all the way across. When you get to the end, you should have 25 double crochets. So I'm going to make my double crochets and I will meet you when I get close to the end. Okay, so I have my first row of double crochets at the end. Go ahead and chain two. I only chain two for a double crochet. Now that double crochet counts as a double crochet. So you're going to skip that first stitch and go into your next stitch with another double crochet. And we're just going to do another row of double crochets at the end. And when you get to the end, you want to make sure you put your last double crochet into that three chain, into the two chain space from the beginning. And I'll be back. See how nice and lined up that is? That is why I do not chain three with a double crochet. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. And remember, at the end, that chain space that you made, that two chains that you made, counts as a double crochet. I actually messed this up here, so I'm going to take it out because I want to put that stitch in the very top chain so that everything comes together really nice. You want to put that in the top chain and go ahead and make your double crochet. See how nice and lined up that is. I love it. So now for our next row, we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to begin working our pattern. So instead of the normal way to make your single crochet, we're going to go into the front loops of the stitch. So in your front loop, when you make a stitch, you have a loop on the bottom and then you have your normal loop in the front. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to put your hook in that bottom loop there and in that top loop only in the front, leaving the back loop empty. And go ahead and make your single crochet. Now we're going to continue on. And we're going to skip three stitches. Skip three stitches. One, two. Keep counting it over and over again. <laughs> but you're going to skip three. And then in that fourth stitch, again, in those two front loops, you're going to make seven double crochets. I'm sorry, seven triple crochets. So you see I left that back loop alone. So we're going to make seven triple crochets into this stitch here. So you yarn over twice and go right back into that stitch, making sure that you do not get that back loop. Once you do the first couple of uh, triple crochets, you'll be able to see it a lot better. And so you're going to make seven triple crochets into that one loop there, into those two, the two loops in the front of the stitch. And again, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always slow that down so you can see exactly where I'm putting my hook. But I try to be careful in showing you how to do that. So 
So, so far I have four. This is five. Remember, I only made a double crochet here. I'm going to notice it in a moment. Remember to yarn over twice. Go back into that same stitch with that triple crochet. And again, you're making seven of those into that one stitch. So now once you have your seven triple crochets, you're going to skip another three stitches. One, two, three. And go into that fourth stitch with a single crochet. Remember, you're only going into those two front loops, leaving that back loop empty because we're going to be coming back into that back loop in our next round. So make your single crochet and then go ahead and skip three again and make sure you're going into that back loop. Make sure you yarn over twice because you're making a triple crochet. Skip three and then that fourth stitch go into that front, those front, two front loops in the front. Remember, skipping that back loop, don't go through that back loop and make your seven triple crochets. So I'm going to continue with this pattern. Just keep making that pattern across. Once you've made these seven triple crochets into that one stitch, go ahead and skip three. And in your fourth stitch, make a single crochet. Remember, you're making all of these stitches in those two front loops only. And I will be back. Okay, so I'm at that last stitch and now I'm putting my single crochet into that chain in the previous row. Remember, you want to put it at the very top. And this is what you should have so far. I think it's curling because it's kind of thick and I made it a little bit tight on that end. But as you can see, those lines are nice. The edges are nice and lined up. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to our new color. You want to go ahead and cut off your yarn. I'm not going to cut off mine in here. I have no idea why I did that. So let's continue. So now I have my green yarn. You're not going to turn your work. You're just going to bind off and go right back to the beginning of the row without turning. So now we're going to go ahead and add that green. So to add your green, remember those loops in the back that we missed, the ones that we left alone, that back loop. We're going to go into those loops now. So remember, you should still have 25 double crochets, including the ones that you skipped. You should have 25 stitches going across, including the ones that you skipped. So now we're going to go into that back loop that we skipped. So go ahead and put your yarn into the back loop of that stitch from the previous row and add your other color. Go ahead and slip stitch into there and chain three. Now the only reason I'm chaining three here is because it's going to give it some height as far as the stitches are concerned. So now in each of those back loops there, the ones that we missed in that previous row, you're just going to make some double crochets. Now you can include the yarn if you want to, your other yarn, the tail, if you want to. I'm not going to because I'm going to weave that in later on. I just think it looks better. I have more control. So I'm going to continue making my double crochets into these back loops. I'm only going into the back loop from the previous row, the loop that we did not crochet into. And I'm just making double crochets all the way across. When you get to the end, you should have 25 double crochets. And again, if you need to slow it down, go ahead and do that so you can see exactly where I'm going into the back of those stitches. I'm going to continue and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm making my last double crochet into this back loop here. Again, you should have 25 double crochets going all the way across. And this is what it's looking like so far. Now, it doesn't look like very much, but we're going to continue on. Please excuse my loop on the bottom. I was just being lazy and I didn't. So go ahead and chain two again and turn your work. Now we're going to make another row of double crochets. So just go right into that back loop again. I'm just go right into both loops. Remember this chain counts as a double crochet. So you're going to skip that chain and just continue on. I'm going to skip the stitch, the first stitch, and then continue on making your double crochets across. Remember your chain two counts as a double crochet. 
So when you get to the end, you should have 25 double crochets. This is what it looks like on the back. And I'll be back when I get close to the end. Okay, so I'm at the last double crochet here. And remember, you want to put your double crochet into that very top chain there that you made from the previous row. Just to make sure that everything is nice and even. Try not to make your stitches too tight or you'll have trouble like I'm having here. I normally don't make my stitches tight. So now you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now we're just going to repeat that shell pattern again. But remember, we're only going to go into the front loops. Now if you want to, you can include that stitch when you come across. You can include those pink shells if you want to. But I actually like having it this way. So now I'm going to chain, uh, I made my chain one. And I turn my work. Now go right back into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a double crochet. It does not count as a single crochet. So go right back into those front loops again. And make your single crochet. No chaining. Just go ahead and remember we missed that back loop again. And go ahead and skip three stitches again. And in that fourth stitch, yarn over twice and go ahead and make your seven treble crochets, seven triple crochets, sorry. It's actually a double treble in UK terms. So I'm making these triple crochets here. And again, in this section, if you want to pin that pink um, shell stitch um, to the rest of the pattern, you can do that just by including that in these um, chain in these loops that I'm making into these triple crochets, but I actually kind of like it like this with them poking up just a little bit. So I'm going to make my seven triple crochets. And remember, we're just following the pattern that we did with our pink triple crochets, our pink shells. We're just doing the same thing. I'm making those seven triple crochets. And then again, once I've made my seven triple crochets, I will skip three and in the fourth stitch, make a single crochet. Remember, all of these stitches are in those two front loops of the stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one more. Remember to yarn over twice when you're making your triple crochets. And now skip another three. And then go into the fourth stitch with a single crochet. One, two, three. And so now just continue on making that. I'm going to put my single crochet in here. Remember, just in those two front loops. And make sure you're checking your work. Make sure you're not going through all of the loops. And make your single crochet. And just continue repeating this. So I'm going to continue with this pattern here, skipping three, going into those front loops only with my seven triple crochets, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row, and I have a few more stitches left. I have four stitches left. I'm going to skip those three, and then in that last stitch, remember, make sure you go into that top chain make a single crochet and that is your next row of shells so now we'll make another row of shells you want to stop here do not turn your work just go ahead and bind off and make your way back to the beginning with the pink color so i'm going to take care of this here and i will meet you back with the new color Okay, so this is what she looks like with the additional row of that pink there. And this is a great stitch for a blanket. You can make it as big as you want. So now I'm going to show you how to weave in these ends. If you would like to have your shells touching one another or flat up against your project, I'm going to show you how to weave in your ends here so that everything is nice and even and everything is flat. So weave your darning needle, go ahead and thread your darning needle and just wrap your yarn right around towards the back. And we're just simply going in and out of those spaces of our stitches. So I'm coming through the back of that single crochet there. 
you don't want to pull too tight because you don't want your, your stitches to scrunch up. So just go right into that next stitch. And you're just weaving in and out and in and out. I should have made mine longer, my um, this end longer, but you get the picture. Just in and out and don't pull too tight um, just to get those uh, shells to stay flat. And you can also use some water, just spray it with a mist of water and then spread it out with your hands. You can also keep it flat that way. You can also use iron, but you want to make sure that it is on cool and make sure that you have something covering your project so that you don't burn your yarn. Oops, my yarn came out. But as you can see, I'm just going in and out and in and out between those stitches to get it flat. I actually like it without the stitches. I'm just showing you so that if you want to keep it flat, and keep them close together this is how you would do that and then you just keep going in and out remember when you tie off at the end make sure that it is long enough so that you can do this all the way across and you have enough uh, yarn to make it all the way to the end so I'm just showing you how to do that I'm actually going to keep mine nice and lifted I actually like that kind of 3d effect there but you can do what you want with it and just continue on with this and I'll be back Okay, so I'm back and this is what she's looking like. I didn't finish sewing in the rest of that, weaving the rest of that in. I just wanted to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Gamtai Handmade Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye.